Welcome to my home for the next 24 hours. I'm at Kumshin Gan Lok. I arrived up here early this morning and I have the tent set up already. And I hope to climb the rim now of the lake. It's a, it's a fantastic climb, pretty challenging. Uh, so I'm not carrying all my camping gear and I'm just gonna bring a, a day bag. It's a really beautiful spot. Um, it's very still today, so I should be able to fly the drone when I get up high and hopefully not lose it and catch some views for you. I was up here at 18 months ago and I tried to do this same walk um, and I got really freaked out as I was climbing around um, and I was carrying all my, my camping gear, my big bag, uh, not knowing um, how steep and tough the climb was and I sat down at one point and when I stood up I just couldn't get my balance at all and um, I had a friend with me who was uh, really great <laughs> and I literally had to hold her hand to get around one particular section um, and really like it really rattled me and from that day I haven't really known if that was my limit of of what I'm able to deal with or was it a uh, a bit of a vertigo incident as a result of carrying all my gear. I don't really know and I've meant to come back here for the last 18 months and so I'm finally back here now um, and I've decided to make a video. Um, and I'm not I'm not trying to force myself to do something that's beyond me. Uh, this is really actually just to see what is my limit and if you know if, if it's something that I, I still don't feel comfortable about doing then so be it I, at least I know what my limit is um, it's just I, I, I've been in some other 
sketchy places <laughs> um, and I've never had that reaction so I really just want to explore that for myself and not not be a hero um, but at the same time it would be great to do this this loop walk um, incident free and to feel hopefully uh, pretty comfortable doing it um, although I, I know certain sections are a little bit sketchy I'm just on a flat section before the final climb and I've definitely come through the spot where I just froze 18 months ago and there was no point along this walk where I felt freaked. I totally enjoyed every minute of the walk. So that's good for me to have learned um, a little bit about what I'm able for and obviously the backpack the last time just threw me into some kind of a spin um, because I could not walk this section even 18 months ago I couldn't look up um, so it's it's just been a beautiful walk really really enjoyable and uh, just the final push up now Gonna stop here and have some lunch. So I made it all the way along the ridge and up to the top. The last climb, there was a there was two paths, and I took one path to the right, uh, where, and it reached a point where I found it impossible to pass. I'm, I'm sure other people could, but I backtracked, and there was another path that came up. Um, and that brought me up really straightforward. Uh, delighted to be here. <laughs> so good. Really, really nice.
You know the way you quite often see people who camp at mountain lakes that they take a dip in the water? Well, I'm not one of those people. <laughs> even if it is coming towards the end of January, even if it was mid-July or August, you'd, you'd need to persuade me. I'd need a lot of persuasion to get into a mountain lake. Um, but I've got a sore right foot, my heel. It's been sore for about two months and this is my first major hike that I've done. So I'm going to be brave and dip my foot in the water. So you might hear me squeal like a banshee and I'm going to try leave it in here for about five minutes or so and see what effect that has. But it, it's, it's done really well. Um, but I think this would be of some assistance to it anyway. So I'll try show you. I'm, I'm on the phone. My GoPro is dead. But uh, there's the proof. I'm in the water. Woo! I'm going to leave it in there for a couple of minutes. It's cold, but it's it's kind of nice. I'm all packed up and leaving my lovely camp spot. Uh, it's been a lovely, lovely trip. Just thought of something that I wanted to show you. On my backpack, I have a, an unusual little attachment. It's not that little. So this is a, a leg brace <laughs> that I've been using the last couple of weeks to help with my heel, along with stretches and strengthening exercises. This has given me great relief to wear in bed at night. So I brought it with me and I've no doubt it, it helped me because um, usually in the morning time it can be really sore to put my foot to the ground. So I'm not feeling that this morning, so I'm glad I brought it. Not a, a typical camping accessory to bring. It's really light, uh, obviously bulky, but I'm really glad I brought it.